Thousands of former service members convicted under Don't Ask, Don't Tell are getting pardoned by the Biden administration. Now, the law banned same-sex relationships in the military. New at 6, WBC's Laura Hafley is at the State House with one veteran forced out of the Navy because of their sexuality. It was simply an off-the-cuff joke about calling out of work. I made a joke that I was going to call in gay. Instead of laughing, she followed that with a bunch of questions. Allie Thorpe was interrogated by their fellow service member forced to address their sexuality. It was 2006. The U.S. Navy sailor sold them out. I was called into my chief's office and they told me that they had begun the process of my separation due to homosexual admission. They gave me a copy of the letter that this sailor had written. The consequences? A dishonorable discharge, lost benefits, and a permanent ban from the U.S. military. Ali says a lawyer fought for the dishonorable discharge to be reversed, but most weren't as lucky. It makes me sad to think about all the people who this has affected, tens of thousands. But 10 a.m. Wednesday morning, the risk of repercussions for who you love were revoked. President Biden signed a proclamation pardoning U.S. service members convicted of sodomy, allowing vets to apply for lost benefits and upgrade their discharge paperwork. Dishonorable to honorable, a move that could erase negative service records that follow members for life. This proclamation has the ability to affect thousands. Again, people now have the opportunity to upgrade that discharge paperwork and get those lost benefits. But for some, the psychological impact is far greater. Who you are, who you love, has no bearing on your ability to serve up your country. In 2002, Massachusetts State Senator John Velas, major in the National Guard with two tours in Afghanistan, helped pass an amendment that allowed service members to access financial benefits. Now, backing Biden's decision to wipe away the pain of the past completely. One of the coolest things to do when you're overseas, you pull out photographs of your family, you pull out photos of your loved one, and the notion that someone wouldn't be able to share who their loved one is and a little bit about their story. To be honest with you, it's just outright sad. It was a very tumultuous and emotional time to see it in black and white on my DD-214 separation paper. If you could see the service member who wrote that letter, who you thought was a friend, if you could see those officers, what do you want them to know? That I made it despite their efforts. In Boston, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News.